on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Alright, now we are going to have a heroes versus villains. The teams shall be... Oh. What is it? Um, Young Midoriya and Ochako Raka. You are going up against Tenya Ida and Bakugo Katsuki. <laughs> what? Yes. What? Uh, can we trade? Nope. I, I apologize, but that is not allowed. Okay, then we give up. Uh, you, you can't. You're just looking like, what is wrong with you? I can't fight him. Why not? If I do end up hurting him, he will murder everyone. What? Yeah, if anything, the fact that I didn't see his name on any of the leaderboards when it comes to the who got the most, yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> I thought I was safe. But no. Of course, he had to be here. That's bad enough. But the fact that he's still growing in power where I am barely able to catch up, if at all, to mention when he really starts to let loose it will be catastrophic I have no idea how strong he is now what's worse <sighs> never mind I will just try my best and hopefully, things will work out. I hope things will work out here. But we cannot truly beat him. It's not gonna work. What? What? What happened to your optimism? It died as soon as I learned who my opponent was. I faced him when we were kids, and it almost killed me and Will as the people on the playground, and the heroes, and policemen, and oh, God knows how many bystanders if no one was able to stop him. I can see that this is affecting you quite a bit, but I assure you, if we come up with a plan, there is no plan. There is no contingency that you can truly make for him with what we have. When it comes to my explosions, yeah, they can pack a punch, but he can make explosions too. What? Yeah. He can make them out of air, fire. Oh my god, has he learned how to do it with water and earth too? Who knows? I don't. We haven't been friends in years. I just want to hate that bastard. He gives me nightmares. This is still see that look in his eyes. He didn't care what happened next as long as he got to me. Uh, is he truly that dangerous of an opponent? <sighs> Try and make your plan. It doesn't matter. Try and find a way to beat him. No one way he can do won't work. I'm sorry. I don't see any way we can win here. At all. It's 
soon as that bell rings. <gasps> Who's that? Found you. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> that is the hero team wins. You just start to realize, okay, yeah, this young Bongo Kasi has been traumatized by Zuko, so. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that, man. I, I never knew. I, I didn't know that. So, so yes. When it comes to the USJ, Izuku notices something. He starts thinking back, like, wait. No way. Is it, wait, is All Might here? He's uh, busy doing hero work. <sighs> of course he is. Of course he is. As yes, Izuku, thinking back, is like, okay, we cannot stay here. What? Wh why not? Because we are going to die, <laughs> or get seriously injured if we do. Nonsense. What could have possibly thought of As, yes, this is when the villains uh, finally arrive, and as well as thinking, like, oh, oh dear. Yeah. I tried to warn you. Yeah, but how did you know? Just call it a hunch? Trying not to let it slip that he's seen this scenario play out at least four <laughs> different times and seeing how each of them ended with some heavy casualties on the villain side he does not want to risk becoming even more of a beast or someone who instills fear than he already is now and that's saying something it truly is so when it comes to them leaving, Izuku makes a tunnel and just leaves with them. Only thing is, he gets snatched back by Korigiri. Is Shigaraki is pretty much. <sighs> you know what? I I find you very interesting, especially my master. I think we you can be friends, actually. You know what? We're just gonna need you to do one thing for us. <coughs> what? You see, you see this big guy right here. We brought him here to kill All Might, but there's always that slight chance he won't be able to. So if anything, Shigaraki. Just reaching out towards Izuku. We're going to need you to kill him for us. What? As he's just in other shock, like, oh my god, I know how this could end. Get your hand off me. I don't want to hurt you. What? I don't want to hurt. I don't want you, to, you losing your arm or... Our hand again. Again? Wait, what are you talking about? I, I, I've I never seen you before. I said on the news. What the hell are you talking about you, again? Are you threatening me? No, no, I'm warning you. I don't. Oh, warning. No, no. Kill this kid. Izuku puts up a one hell of a fight compared to how it would be before since he has at least more battle training. The only thing is, he's still no match for the Numbu's brute force power. So, one thing next to another, he gets smacked up against the wall, activating the Avatar state. And this is pretty much when a, a lot of uh, his experiences begin to show up as yes the villains one side gets frozen solid the other skin 
burned alive. Some get boiled, you know, if they're in the water. When it comes to the breath being stolen from them, being slashed by seemingly invisible blades, it still happens crushed by, you could say, boulders as well as ran through it. Seemingly impenetrable spikes. Yeah, you could say it's very terrifying for the Rocky to, to see. To the point where he just, just listen, no move, go full out on any Izuku. It being his only hope as he tries to get Kodagiri to get them the fuck out of there. Only thing is, the no move's already dead. And Izuku is looking straight at poor, poor Shigaraki. Kodagiri makes a portal, but Izuku yeets Kodagiri away as well as dragging poor Shigaraki towards him. I tried to warn you, is all that's said before one by one Izuku cuts off one of Shigaraki's hands. Crushes one of, of his feet, as well as slicing and freezing, burning, until, yeah, if anything, Shigaraki is down to his knees and his elbow, screaming, writhing in agony, until Kogiri finally gets a chance due to all my bursting in the scenes. And seeing what the hell's going on. Izuku, he's in this state, so all my already knows, like, oh man, someone fucked up. <laughs> then seeing the Nomu dead, he's like, what the hell is that? He's like, never mind, I gotta save that boy. <laughs> or he's technically save the villains. <laughs> so he does. He knocks out Izuku, and the villains get the hell out of there. At least the ones that survived. They at least get the luxury of being arrested. Is <laughs> yes, Izuku is being interrogated, and as well as arrested. <laughs> On one hand. Yeah, it was a villain attack, in which he had to act in self-defense. On the other hand, it was technically cold-blooded murder. With how many corpses are, have collected. Izuku feels apologetic. He doesn't know what to really say to make this any better, if at all. All he can do is keep saying, yelling, that I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. It just... So natural. What? <laughs> yeah, it just felt natural. Oh wait, that sounds wrong, doesn't it? A little, a little bit. Yeah, it really does. You say it feels natural to you just just kill people, <sighs> freeze them to death, steal the breath from their lungs. Burn them, boil them, crush them, and pierce them. That is what you are telling us right now. That it felt natural to you. Do you see why we are concerned with letting you back on these streets? I, 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 I do. Good. So you shouldn't be upset when we throw that book at your ass. All my trying to be the voice of reason, like, come on, he's just a kid, and he's murdered people. We can't let that slide now. It's way worse when he said it felt, felt natural. I'm sorry, but we, we, I can't, we can't just allow him to run free. What if I... What? Uh, what if I was watching over him? What? 
I mean, we already have escorts for him, and he's already living on campus with his mom. All we need is more security. Listen, when it came to the USJ, you know what? We will admit it was partially our fault. Because we thought if you, were, of all people, were there, it will be able to keep him out of trouble. But you weren't there, I guess. Not this time. What is going to keep this from happening? Again. Again, you know. Uh, we'll have to dive deeper into what causes him to go berserk like this. Doth thou have a, a plan? Uh, I'll take that as a no, and this boy is going to Tartarus. Case dismissed. Wait. What was it, young Pedoria? I can technically explain, but it's gonna be it's gonna sound kind of weird and impossible. Kid, you are going to go to prison for the rest of your life. If you have any explanation that could possibly curb this, please. Explain. Uh, okay. The way I did all those things that I did to the villains wasn't because I was taught them. What? I mean, I did learn them, but I wasn't taught by any of the heroes or anyone normal. Then who taught y'all doing? I did. Huh? As he tries his best to explain that, uh, yeah, 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 there's more than one version of me. Each of them have these abilities that are similar to my quirk, but only individual-esque, you know, elements. So right now, these just call bullshit. All my seeing the sincerity in Yuzuku's face is pretty much like, no, I, I think he's telling the truth. What? Poppycock, how is that possible? There's no way there could be more than one version of him. That's just... No, it's true. Hmm? Wait, who said that? He says is the truth. And who the hell are you? My name is Izuku Midoriya. Excuse me? But Izuku looking like, well, you look nothing like me. You're. No, you're blue. Hmm. Yeah. I can also do this. Him teleporting. And Izuku's like. Wait, where are you? Behind you. Mind find. But there's no need to worry. I am a peaceful person. Only fight when I need to. Uh, wait. So you're saying? Yeah. You're not crazy. There are other versions of you. Believe me, I thought it would to be impossible as well, until I found out otherwise. How? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's my fault, man. That's my fault. Hey, who are you? Yeah, I'm you. As well, you know, another you. Really? Ah, uh, yes. You see, how should I put this? There are multiple realities in which 
something slight could change or something guy you could say completely crazy as hell could have happened from our mother dying to eh, you just having a different personality who knows there may even be some realities where you're a god or something who knows what you see <clears throat> I'm from a reality where I was actually introduced way ahead of time to the multiverse. There was a version of me who did a lot of bad things for the right reasons. Wanted to be a hero. Hell, I don't think he, his world even really had quirks at all. But he did know he get stronger from killing other versions of himself to a point where he finally made it to the last one but couldn't do it then he died and I gained not only his power but added benefits uh, I am technically the one and <laughs> I know where each of these other versions of you are. In fact, as yes, Firebender, Airbender, Earthbender, and Airbender, Izuku's just show up. Hey, <laughs> what's up? This is really happening. Yeah, you're not crazy. Believe me, we at first we thought we were cr crazy too f when we saw him, but <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, this is quite the conundrum, isn't it? And who are you? You see, I'm a version of you who's actually a reincarnation of one named hmm, Iro. Really? And I'm here to tell you about what you have is not a quirk. What? Ah, yes. You see, what you have is an ancient form of power. You are a bender. What? You see. <sighs> There are other forms of power in the world, but have been lost throughout the ages due to certain things. When it comes to you, you are a firebender. You, air, earth, and water. But what, from what I can tell, you, young Rodoria, you seem to be the avatar, but it's strange that you tapped into the past experiences of the other versions of you instead of your past lives. Huh? What do you mean past lives? Explain! Well, you see, when it comes to the avatar, usually it's a spiritual... Thing, uh, to the point where as soon as one avatar dies, another is created. What? Ah, oh, yes. Quite interesting, actually. The only thing it is, they can communicate with their past lives. And since you may as well be the first one, you don't have any past lives to look upon for guidance. What? For that, I apologize. However, I can teach you and the firebender version of us how to utilize our firebending more efficiently. 
Really? You'll do that for me? Yes, I would do that for me. Uh, okay, this is going to get confusing, isn't it? Oh, without a doubt. But don't worry. If anything, hopefully it won't get too complicated when it comes to us talking to each other. Hmm. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Yes? Ah, oh, yes, the, the, the Earthbender. Yeah. I have a question. If you can teach them about firebending, but who's going to teach me about, um, Earthbending? Yeah. And what about him, the uh, waterbender and the airbender? What what about them? What about their teachers? As they look at the one Izuku, well, I guess I could make a few more trips to search the multiverse to find you all teachers. Could you now? Of course. I mean, uh, you're me. Why wouldn't I help myself? Especially for what's coming. Watch him leaving. He did not just do that. He did. Okay, that version of us is uh, ominous as well as cryptic asshole. Can we all agree on that? No, that is not nice. He probably can't tell us what's coming because if we knew, it would be more stress. But telling us the way he did makes us stress even more because now we're wondering what should we be looking out for. Hmm. Hopefully he finds your teacher soon. That's for you. Mm. I don't know what to call you. Well, I did adopt the name Kurt Wagner. But in the circus, they did call me Nightcrawler. You, you, you were in the circus? Yes. You see, what? the reality I'm from, I was... Taken. What? <sighs> yeah. I found myself in a different world. That wasn't mine, but... Wait. Let me get a good look at you. What, what is it? Why do you... Why did you get those scars? I I had an accident no no you didn't someone hurt you didn't they uh, no I, I mean I, things did transpire to be Proper magic, but who hurt you? She didn't mean it. I mean, uh, she wasn't like that before. What happened? As a explanation is given, that you guys wouldn't have to wait to hear. Yes, yes, I, I'm gonna be that. That bastard. As yes, Nightcrawler Izuku goes home. As yeah, you can say the other benders besides the Avatar and Firebender Izuku stay with Iro. Only thing is, yeah, the safety commission. Just in case they didn't air anything, so. The only people who actually know about what's going down is in the room. And all my is like, what the fuck? Are 
Are you serious? There's multiple versions of the world? Ah, yes. If you like, we could discuss it over tea. Do you know Professor Nezu? Professor? Oh. No, I mean... Uh... Principal. Oh. Well, I have heard of a Professor Nezu, but... I forget which reality he's from. Either way... Is this one a tea lover? Yes. Hey, I have a question for you. Uh, you can call me Ira. Right, Ira. Where'd you get that scar? It looks so similar to uh, my uh, friends. Friend? Oh, you mean Shoto to Rocky? Yeah. You know. Yes. He's the one that gave me the scar. What? Wait, how? Uh, sports festival. It was a heated fight between us. But I decided to pull back at the last minute to give him the win. I didn't expect him to be going so far. After finally accepting that his quirk is his own. <sighs> For anything, he does tease me from time to time like an ass. But we are still friends. In fact, my kids love them. The whole Toroki family. What? You have kids? Why, yes, of course. I'm, I'm in my 20s. So young! <laughs> oh, how kind. You really are a different version of me. But at the very least, yes. I got this scar from Shota Todoroki. And yes, I do have kids. And a younger brother. What? Yeah. If anything, he has a interesting quirk really if anything I never expected to, it to have a dragon esque silhouette or aspect towards it what oh yes if anything training him has been Different. At the very least, I'm unlucky I can control fire. If not, that could be very problematic. Are you alright? Uh, are you saying... I got a scar, well, technically it was me, well, I guess it technically is you, but, correct. If anything, it could have been worse. I could have died. Then he and my family would not never be able to forgive him. Huh, so he could have killed you. Ah, yes. Actually, the road of my recovery is actually a very interesting story. I'll be more than happy to tell you whatever you want. Can we hear it now? Of course! Yet again, another explanation. Wow. Mm hmm. So, so while you were in a coma, you. Yeah. Wow, that's fascinating. Man, whoever. Who, who has ever heard such an interesting story? Uh, it's not that interesting. Huh. But at the very least. So, are there any other benders that you've met? Hmm. 
No, not yet. But at the very least, I do have my eye out for them. Just in case. <sighs> Buff only. Ugh. What? Never mind. If anything, while we begin your training, I believe the sports festival should be coming up. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Oh, right. We, we completely forgot you were here. We, I sincerely apologize. He's so polite. Okay, <clears throat> so let me get this straight. Mozzie versus are real. Correct. You're, for, you're a different version of him. I get that. But... So you're saying that each of these other versions has possibly killed before? Oh, yes. Who knows? There might be a version where... Who well, knows? He didn't want to be a hero. Or... He could have gotten kidnapped by villains, turned into a villain, or wanted to be a villain. You never know with some of these realities. But then again, you never know what kind of life each version of us had. One of us actually got betrayed by our father and sent to hell. What? Hell's real? Of course it's real. Uh, I gotta go. Uh, wait, where is he? he chances are he's going to pray. <laughs> or repent. Depending on what sins he may have carried. But either way. Yes, there, he never truly knows the circumstances of each Izuku. Like, with me, I was just lucky to have a... Uh, Awakened this ability. When it comes to you two. Hmm. I can see that you are truly angry. I met Toroki at a young age, but you. Hmm. Yeah, you have no idea how much he really needs to use his other half. I mean, he saved my ass before, and vice versa. Uh, I seriously, he was the best man at my wedding. Really? Not your brother? Oh, well, technically, uh, he is like a brother to me. Huh. I can honestly say, if, if it wasn't for his sister having guys for someone else or something, I probably would have wanted to go for that as well. Wait, who are you married to? Hmm. I'm trying to remember. Let's see. I believe I married to one Yairozu as well as wait 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 Momo Yairozu Oh yes Yeah How would you swing that? Oh you don't want to hear old man You are not old You're in your damn twenties <clears throat> Anyone else? Hmm, there was this one woman. She actually has the interesting win ability. Perhaps I should ask her if she wanted to uh, train the airbender. Hmm. I mean, her quirk is very strong. I mean, if anything. Okay. You know what? Time out. Time out. Can we just get to our training? Before anything else gets weird. Weird.
What's so weird about my life? I never saw my... Well, our lives going in such a direction! Oh, believe me. Neither did I. I was so happy when Momo said yes. As was... Okay, okay, enough. We don't need to know anymore. Please. Very well. <laughs>